Okay, uh, if you look at the left hand corner, they're showing you how to the uh, silencios rest, right? And the first one with a squiggly line is a uh, quarter note. The second one, which is uh, you could say like a top hat or a hat, right? Is the half note and then the whole note, right? So there's a difference. And if you look at the first one, two, three, four, five, six, on the bass side, there is rest, right? No, nothing's going on, right? So, uh, you know, this is the beginning of trying to, to understand the rests, right? Uh, then there's some, let me see. Hmm. Well, hmm. okay, some other rests in the other measures as well. Okay, so now this is in three fourth time. So let's go ahead and clap it. Okay, one, two, three, 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 one. No. Now I made a mistake there in the let me see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, the ninth measure. Let's start at the ninth measure. One two three 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 Okay so this is a continuous melody right and you use your bass hand or your left hand to complete the melody So let me see okay now another thing yes both thumbs are on middle C, right? So that's the position, you don't move from here, right? Okay. Okay, as far as chords, uh, there's just two chords, right? And actually, I'm not going to play chords today. I'm just going to play bass notes. I'm going to play octaves, right? To, uh, instead of playing... I'm just going to play... sort of messed up on this one. Okay, and that's the, the end of the piece, right? So give it a try. Uh, it's not very, very difficult. You're using your, your left hand very little, actually, just twice, uh, like here. And then most of it is with the treble hand, right? Okay, keep working, guys. <laughs>